Hi, I'm named, my name's Charlie. I'm from Short Block Charlie's. Today, I'm going to spend some time talking to you about the Harley Davidson M8 cylinder head. We've got one here. It's on the flow bench. This is one of our Pro Series that's being uh, verified for port flow. Uh, this is an overview of both the water cooled and the uh, oil cooled cylinder heads. Okay, the differences, if you want to see the differences on the oil cooled head, they have a little slot over here on, on the combustion chamber uh, surface or head gasket surface. Now on the water cooled heads, you'll have two holes. Is That's how you can tell the differences about, about the M8's oil cooled and water cooled heads. What we found, we've done a lot of testing and checking the combustion chamber what we've seen is it's about 89 to 90 on all of the heads that we've been, been verifying. The valve specifications on the stock heads, the intake valve is 39.90 millimeters, the exhaust is 32.11. They both use six millimeter valve stems. Uh, the valve springs are a beehive design and the valve gu guide seal, as you can see, is an umbrella. It's a pretty basic uh, simple system that they're using. The intake volume, if some of you guys use that to figure port velocity, what we found is the volume is 152 cc's. Then there's a ways of using formulas of checking airflow to the volume of cc's to, to give you some arbitrary figure of port velocity. Uh, the best way to check port velocity is with a probe. Okay, we here's a cylinder head that we flowed. I flowed at 28 inches on a Superflow 600. The first thing I want you to note is we found that the port velocity and the airflow is very quiet. It was it's not a very noisy head compared to the Harley Davidson CNC ported head, and the air is pretty stable. It seemed to be staying in the 350 range. Over here, I'm not very upset with this scan how it came out but it'll give you some ideas here the intake airflow was right at about the 320 range is what we've seen on the stock head and as we've seen and there's a lot of talk on the internet on different companies the uh, airflow of the uh, exhaust is way down there it's I would say it's probably about 185 uh, is the uh, flow on the on the head we are offering many different uh, cylinder packages for that. Our standard series is where we just take and do some porting and put a new valve guides in and use the stock valves. Then we have our Scotchman Pro Series. And what we do on them particular heads is we put oversized valves. We have our Q4 package where we put four different valves in the cylinder head. Uh, my, my particular bike, I got a 17 uh, uh, screaming Super Glide, and uh, what the hell do I have? I, anyway, I've got, it's a Street Glide. I'm, I'm just a little confused right now. Anyway, it's a Street Glide. We got the Q4 valves in it. It's got four different size valves in it, and uh, we're getting it with the T-Man uh, 216 camshaft. We're in the 130, one torque, and 130 horsepower. We also can modify the Harley-Davidson CNC head package. We can take them and make them work a lot better. It's, they're kind of weak on the uh, airflow. We're going to have YouTubes with over, overviews of all these performance packages that will show you the different things that we do. I want to thank you for watching. Check us out at Short Block Charlie's Pro One Racing on YouTube or on the web. Thanks for watching.